Hi, I'm Matt Patterson with The Oklahoman, and we are joined uh, once again <laughs> with by Julie Bank, the uh, Oklahoma City Animal Welfare Superintendent, with a dog I, and a cat today. I know it's hard to hear me, uh, Raven, because of this cute little yeah, guy. Yeah, he's got pretty blue eyes, but I mean, I know he's pretty squeaky, too. Yes, that's, well, he's a puppy, that's right. and he's probably missing his mom, and he's about eight weeks old, and our little kitty there that I'm calling Cutie is also about eight weeks old. So they're born around the same time. And this kind of highlights a problem that you're dealing with this time of year. We've talked a little bit about overpopulation. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, you know, in Oklahoma City Animal Welfare receives about 24,000 animals a year. And for a population our size of, you know, the, the metro of over being, and, and the outskirt areas being over a million people, we should have an incredible le amount less animals coming in our door. It is not okay with the amount of animals that are coming in the door. And the shelter is working extremely hard to try to lower the amount of animals, but really we have a problem in our community. We have too many animals coming in. We have too many animals that are still unsterilized. We have too many people that still allow their animals to run loose and then they're breeding and we need to stop it. And we really want to get a message out there that this is a community issue and it's something that we have to um, think about and also all take responsibility for. You know, the animal shelter is an amazing place that people can bring animals to to get help, but we've made it a little too easy for people to turn animals into animal shelters, right? Oh, so I just have a litter and I bring them in the door. But they're not realizing that there's probably 10 other litters of kitties or puppies coming in right after you, and they're not all able to get a home. So we really need the community to take this seriously, to work with us, to stop the boom of animals coming in the door. And I was out there last week and you had a, a situation where you adopted 30 something cats mm -hmm. in a day, but you also had 20 brought that came yeah. in. You know? Yeah, so I mean, so we're having such a great response to promotions that we do like Meowapalooza, which is where you can get a free adult <laughs> cat or half yeah. off kittens. But the problem is they're not, it's not matching the amount of animals that are coming in the door. So we're adopting 30, we're getting 40. We're adopting 50, we're getting 60. And it just seems to never end, but it can end. There are solutions to this, and it's just about all of us working together to stop it. And what are a couple You are being a silly goose who wants to get off this yeah. leash. He wants to get off this uh, leash. So what are some things people can do? I know if you see a stray dog, that's helpful to let let your people know, or at least try to find the owner. Well, I mean, we, a... we certainly don't want stray dogs to be stray in the first place. So if you are a pet owner, it's important that you keep your dogs behind a gate or in the house, better yet. And check your gate every day. Check to see if there's holes. See if there's a way for them to climb out and get out. It's never okay to just open up your door and allow your animal to run loose for not only the safety of the public, but also the safety of your pet. But if you do see a stray animal and you can get it safely, please bring it into the shelter so that we can hopefully get them back home. And of course, tags and IDs, we talk about that every time to make sure that they have identification yeah. on their necks so that we can get them back home. But they shouldn't be running loose at all. And if you have a pet at home, you should always get them sterilized so that they are not contributing to overpopulation in the community. And you guys, like you said, there are solutions. But yep. you really need, one solution is foster homes for guys like these. Yes. You need, there's a shortage of them, and that can affect your live release rate at the end of the year. Absolutely. So the live release rate is actually the amount of animals that get out of our building alive. And what we do is we basically divide the intake by the outtake, and that gives us the percentage of how many animals are getting out of the building alive. And while we're doing a really great job, it, there's still more animals that need to get out alive. And one way that you can help is by becoming a foster parent. Basically, you, you and your family come to a training program, you volunteer to help, you take little guys like this into your home uh, for a period of time, and then we give you everything. We give you the medicine if medicine is needed, we give you the food, we give you crates if needed. Good, quiet. And, um, and then you just give the time and space, care for them till they're old enough to be brought up for adoption, and then um, bring them back and we can put them up for adoption. That little guy like there, that's being the calm one today, mm -hmm. he was actually in a foster home with his brothers and sisters, and now he is ready for adoption. This one over here needs a, to learn a little manners, as yeah. you can see. <laughs> yeah, but right. he is going what, into a foster right. home and will be ready in about two and weeks. And with a little patience, he's gonna be, make somebody oh, a, a, a great gonna dog. He's gonna make an amazing dog, but he's a puppy, and yeah. as you can see, he's so acting like a silly baby. And not right for everybody. That's for right, sure. but he um, needs some time, needs to learn manners, needs to have a little bit of meat on his bone, and then he will be placed up for adoption as well. Lastly, you've got... Look at uh, that tail. Though, yeah, I know. He's, <laughs> he's, what he really wants to do right now is run really, around the studio. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mia Palooza this month, 
pretty good response to that. Yeah. Talk a little bit about how people can get involved in so that. So we've had an amazing response. And Meow at Palooza is all about cats. And it's all about encouraging people to be responsible pet owners. So we've had many calls from people about our free spay neuter program. We've had calls from people, but again, need more about becoming foster parents for kitties to help. And we've had a great success of people coming in to adopt. And to adopt, all adult cats, I think I said this before, but all adult cats are free. And cats under six months of age are $30, which is still half off yeah. the adoption right. rate. rate. And um, we, uh, you know, people. some people have come to the shelter and said, oh, where's all your cats? And I'm like, we're adopting them as quickly as they can come in, which is good. The bad news is that they're still coming in. Right. Well, Julie, uh, I think I, we'll end it on that note. <laughs> I appreciate you coming in once again. We, anything else you want to add? Yeah, just if anybody wants to learn about becoming a volunteer foster parent or other volunteer, or if it wants to adopt a pet, or even give a donation to help save the lives of these guys, they can go to okc.gov slash animal welfare, and you can see all about the work that we're doing, all about the programs that we have to help people be responsible pet owners, and all about pet adoption. Julie Bank with the mm -hmm. Oklahoma City Animal Welfare Center. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it.